This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what are the different view options for displaying polyframes on your model? So here I just have a ring model here, and this ring model is a dynameshed model. So it has quite a bit of topology on it, so we're up to 6 million points. Now if I turn the polyframe mode on by default, you're going to notice I'm going to get this kind of effect. So I have the wireframe of that dense dynamesh being displayed along with those polygroups. Now this view is a little bit hard to read because of all the topology on this mesh here. So if you're looking to try to expose different parts in your model through polygrouping, it may be hard to tell what colors are on your model. So if we hover over this polyframe button over here, and we just hit shift M here to magnify this here, you'll see at the top of the polyframe button, there are two words. So this first word is line, and the second one is fill. Now these words that are up here are ogles for the polyframes. So if I click on the line option, it's going to disable the line function of the polyframes and just leave you with the polygroup colors being displayed. So here now we have the ring without the wireframe turned on, and now we can just clearly see the polygroups on our model. Now if I go back over here, and if I turn line back on, and then say turn fill off, it's going to display the model with just the wireframe, and it's going to not display the polygrouping. So this actually works better if we have a model with a little less resolution like this, and so now I can see the model without any of the polygrouping and just view it with the wireframe. Now if I come over here and turn the fill back on, you see now I have both, and then I can toggle the line option to just display the polygroups and no wireframe. Or you can also turn both of them off, and you'll end up with a blank model like so. So those are the different options in which you can toggle on the polyframes button again. And these are the little buttons up here that say line and fill on the top of the polyframe button. So if you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.